So, I'd been wanting to make vlogs recently with my GoPro Hero, just a standard GoPro Hero from about three years ago. But I was running into an issue because I do most of my vlogging on bicycles, which entails a bunch of wind noise, and the GoPro Hero has onboard mics that doesn't allow external microphones, which makes it next to impossible to record an actual vlog if you're moving fast. Um, the head of you, I've got a 36 second clip that will kind of show you what I'm talking about in terms of the wind noise I've been hearing while I rode my bike and vlogged. Everyone's got lights on. If they don't, I've got a pretty good light. It's not too bad. You can even get some jumps off when you're on your own. Although I'm not going to try my look on this road bike because the Cat X just got recalled today. And uh, I don't know if that thing's made of aluminum. Probably is because of the cat line, but I feel like these share a fair amount of geometry, so you know, I might not be jumping this too much at least. As you could tell, that was pretty abysmal. Uh, the wind was pretty much drowning out everything I had to say, and that was proving troubling for me to be able to make any sort of vlog that felt credible. Um, I looked up some solutions on YouTube and they sell some windproof cases, just basically styrofoam cut to the shape of a GoPro Hero, and I thought to myself, you know what, why would I pay 20 bucks for a shell when I can make one myself out of stuff I had around the house? And sure, it might not be quite as high quality, but if I can spend $5 and get about the same quality out of something I make without having to leave my house, of course I'm going to do that. So that's what I did. Um, literally for $5.01, including an Arizona tea that I bought for $0.99. Cents. Um, this is pretty much what I did. Uh, you can do it yourself if you have the same materials around. So this is my GoPro Hero 4 Silver, the one I used to use for all my old vlogs. It allowed external microphone input, so what I'm doing now wasn't something I needed to do for it. But as you can see, I took out the battery and hard reset it, and uh, all that shows up is uh, Hero 4 on the main screen. It just says Hero 4, and then the back screen will light up, and you can kind of turn it on and off for a little bit, but then it just stops and uh, stops allowing function. Um, it doesn't start up at all anymore, so that's why I'm doing this. My GoPro Hero 4 Silver is dead, and really until I'm comfortable spending money on another GoPro that feels pretty good, um, this is what I'm stuck with. So I'm going to try to make the best of what I have, and maybe not immediately buy a new action camera if I can avoid it. And what you see in front of you, this is my GoPro Hero. Just a standard GoPro Hero I think I bought for maybe 150 bucks years ago. And what you see in front of you now is just some cloth that I have around the house. It's, it's pretty foamy. Uh, it's very foamy and very air-filled. It's very soft and pliable, and that's kind of what you want. Something that'll absorb vibrations really well. Um, I'm just cutting it up here and literally making it into the shape of the GoPro panel so that it fits. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it fits pretty well around the buttons because you don't want to obstruct the buttons and you don't want to obstruct where the lights are, and you don't want to obstruct the camera, and you especially don't want to obstruct where the SD card goes in now, because that can honestly just cause you trouble going forward. So here I am, just shaping it to my GoPro Hero, and kind of cutting it as I go, um, just making sure that it's the right shape, and making sure that I'm not covering up anything important. Um, I'm literally just putting cloth up next to it to size it, and cutting it kind of the right shape. And there's all of my shape. It took a little bit of clock to do this. So this is the part you want to be a bit more careful with. This is when you start applying uh, this off-brand Gorilla Glue stuff I bought. Uh, Crazy Glue um, at Walgreens. Literally for $4.02. Uh, the other 99 cents is on Arizona T. So I just gradually kind of got it along my GoPro frame. Um, the only place you really absolutely can't get it is the land. That'll ruin your day and ruin your GoPro, so. This part, I would recommend maybe not trying, unless you're like me and you've got a GoPro Hero that you damaged in salt water maybe three years ago in California, when you, uh, maybe had a bit more to drink than you should have and thought you could get away from the wave fast enough. But, you know, not to be specific or anything, it just could have happened to anyone. Um, but anyways, you want to dot this all over the frame. Of the GoPro and hold down for like 30 seconds on the frame, and your, um, your cloth should apply pretty well. And remember, you want it to be pretty thick cloth like I have here, so it absorbs um, as much vibration as you can. So 
sound's really just a bit of vibration. And if it absorbs vibrations, it's going to absorb sound pretty well, too, most likely. Um, so here I am turning it on, just checking and making sure that my uh, front screen works well. And this is what the GoPro looks like, kind of when it's finished. It looks ridiculous if it works. like I was mistaken because here we are running at about the same crappiness, maybe even a bit better than it was a few months ago. You know, the amount of people I see that, uh, and that wasn't directed to the people getting out of the car behind me, uh, I just have seen a lot of people today who are like sitting in the front seat of the car just like, what they do, hanging out in the front seat. It's kind of weird. Um. So as you can tell, it's still not perfect. Um, I'm sure the shell that you buy for $20 will do better. But in my case, when I've got a GoPro that's pretty much worthless, and it's near the end of its life, and I just lost the other GoPro I bought the exact same day as it, um, I'm not going to spend 20 bucks on a case on it. I spent $5.02 and got a bit hydrated and uh, had a good time making this video. Um, so, if you liked what you saw, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you've done something similar, let me know. Let me know if I can make any modifications to make my windproofing better, because if I can do it cheap, I'll certainly do it. Um, and let me know if you try this and it succeeds, or if it fails. Um, I'm sorry if it fails. I thought it worked okay on my end, but, you know, each his own. But anyways, uh, let me know what you thought of the results. Are they crazy? Am I hearing things? I think it looks pretty good, and so do the waveforms, but who knows? Uh, regarding what's going on on my channel, uh, as you can see, there's some footage of me running around on the e-bike. I got it running a bit again, so there's going to be some more videos coming out soon, some more vlogs and such. Uh, if you're interested in seeing vlogs on an e-bike or just listening to the sweet whir of an e-bike engine, uh, subscribe, and I'll also be making some more normal bike vlogs, vlogs recently, or soon. Um, so subscribe for those as well. I'm getting a BMX bike into my life again soon, so that should be fun. Later, guys.